Street, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. Where we own all of our vehicles, we are not a consignment dealer. If you're watching this presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos never come down. We use the same channel for both stores. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that particular unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it is no longer available for sale. Hankstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories throughout the United States, but more importantly, we install them. So if you're watching a video presentation on one of our classic vehicles, uh, and you want AC, power disc brakes, uh, power steering, maybe a new interior, upgraded dash package, uh, headers, you know, we can do all that stuff. Hankstersgarage.com, check it out. Awesome piece of inventory to present to you today. 1957 Chevrolet pickup truck. Um, in our business, we get the luxury and the uh, convenience of being able to take vehicles in on trade. This is one we've owned before, a couple years ago. Uh, I know the gentleman that did the restoration on the truck. It's two years, the, the uh, restoration is two years old. Um, so let's take a look. We do have a 383 stroker motor in the truck. Um, it does have power brakes. You can see that chrome brake booster back on the uh, driver's side firewall. Buried down here, way below the alternator, is our power steering. Uh, so the truck does have power steering. And mounted to the passenger side of the block is the AC compressor because the truck is equipped with air conditioning. A lot going for this thing so far, right? So let's check out the rest of it. Black and silver, awesome color combination. Uh, the paint on the truck is only two years old. Uh, like I said, uh, it, it's nice, it's uniform, clears good, colors good. Um, so you got black up top here that is painted on. <clears throat> then there is uh, the silver on the hood and the tops of the fenders. The uh, paint condition on this truck is absolutely uh, fantastic. Your chrome in the grill and chrome on the lower bumper, uh, both in uh, fabulous uh, condition, great shape. Everything up front there looks in uh, good condition. <clears throat> Walking around to the driver's side of the truck, you're going to notice a couple different things. First of all, you got five star American racing wheels. Secondly, raised white letter BFG radial tires. <clears throat> Third, 383 designation on the fender, which is uh, significant of what is underneath the hood of this 57 pickup. Uh, paint high and low on the driver's side front fender is absolutely fantastic. Real nice paint on the truck. Let's take a look at the front windshield. Uh, rubber gasket that encompasses the front windshield is in great condition. The uh, gla window glass itself is in great shape. Uh, dual chrome mirrors, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. <clears throat> door fitment on the truck is fantastic. Um, take a look at the paint. That's a, a large driver uh, side door there. Take a look at the paint on the uh, driver side uh, door. Uh, fantastic, both high and low. Let's take a look at in the interior. By the way, the uh, window glass there, clarity on the uh, driver side. Real nice door glass. Take a look in the interior, also a black and silver color combination. Uh, door panel, uh, you got uh, leather, vinyl up top here um, in the center. Uh, at the bottom you got your black carpeting. Uh, inside the truck you will notice a uh, upgraded gauge package. <clears throat> I believe they are Dalton, oh I'm sorry they're auto meter. So auto meter uh, gauge package in the truck. You can see the uh, color combination on the seats, black and silver. Uh, seats look to be uh, in pristine condition. Chevy badge there in the center of the steering wheel, uh, aftermarket steering wheel. Um, black carpeting in the truck, great shape. This thing's like all brand new. Really nice condition on this vehicle. <clears throat> uh, rear window, same way. Uh, rubber gasket, chrome trim, 
uh, window glass, everything fantastic on the truck. In the back of the bed, you have your uh, black bow tie. Wood grain and slats in the bed in real nice condition. This is probably not, uh, you know, the truck that you want to be going to pick up rocks at Home Depot in. Paint condition on the fenders, the rear fenders, uh, bedside, whatever you want to call it. Uh, real nice. You have your uh, plate there, step plate. It's aluminum on the uh, driver's side. Uh, once again, more for uh, aesthetics than it is for actual functionality, uh, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, real nice paint uh, on the uh, bedside there, on the driver's side. Let's take a look at the... Uh, tailgate Chevrolet in black across the tailgate I'm going to uh, drop the tailgate to show you the inner workings of the tailgate by the way there's two little lock mechanisms here on the gate push to your uh, left to your right oh that one's nope hold on sorry the tailgate was wedged so you drop those you can see the paint there on the uh, interior of the gate closure is all nice you're not uh, it's not rusted or heavily chipped uh, back of the tailgate is in nice shape so there's just these uh, pins here these locking pins uh, that come out from either side of the gate so when we close it push the pins in close it up make sure it's tight so when we're on our test drive it doesn't fly open uh, dual exhaust coming out from below the uh, Rear bumper, you can see the rear bumper uh, chrome quality there, uh, fantastic. Uh, no rusting around the bumper bolts, no flaking of the chrome at all. <clears throat> Not one imperfection to show you in the paint just yet, so uh, let's continue. Passenger side, bedside, uh, low there, paint is good. Up top, paint is in great shape as well. Once again, your uh, step there on the uh, passenger side, just as it was on the driver's side. Your cab corners are good here. <clears throat> this is an awesome looking truck. How about we pop open the uh, passenger side door? By the way, let's before we do that, top of the bed rails too, nothing scratched or chipped. Both driver and passenger side, they're in great shape. Uh, looks of the truck on the inside, uh, once again, uh, you know, leather, vinyl, carpet, all in good shape, all, you know, two years old. You can see carpeting in the uh, truck, you know, black, black, uh, aftermarket steering column there. Fantastic looking piece of e equipment inside and out. Um, chrome mirror there on the passenger side door. Uh, once again, your door fitment, uh, real nice on the uh, vehicle. 383 badge there on the uh, passenger side front fender. Front fender on the passenger side, high and low paint is in fantastic condition. Super clean truck, super nice truck. This one should sell quickly. We're gonna take it outside and put it up in the air and then we're gonna do a test drive. Before we do that, I want to encourage you guys to visit our showroom in Daytona Beach. Whether it's this 1957 pickup or any other vehicle you might be interested in in our inventory, we will do everything with you that you see us doing in this video. We will let you look at the paint and the sunshine real good. You can do a walk around, you can pop the trunk, you can rifle through the interior. Uh, we'll put it on a rack for you and put it up in the air if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, suspension components, bottom of the motor, transmission. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the vehicle performs, how it rides, how it sounds, how it feels, how tight the steering is, how the motor response is, you know, throttle. This way, when the vehicle arrives to you, wherever you might be located at in the United States or in the world, there's no surprises because you were here and you went over the vehicle for yourself. The reason we take 80 to 100 photographs of every car that we have on our website and we do these 20 to 25 minute video presentations is because 
the majority of the transactions conducted are done sight unseen. We are, at the end of the day, an internet-based business. However, if this is your first classic car purchase, um, I strongly encourage you guys to visit our showroom here in Daytona. We have a, a, a beautiful facility. Uh, we have 70 cars uh, on hand and uh, probably 60 in the building. Um, all of our cars are in the building, but some of them are over at our shop going through the process. Um, you know, and we'll explain to you some of the uh, responsibilities that come with owning one of these classics, how to care for it, maintain it, what type of oil to use, how to store it, uh, things of that nature. So visit our showroom here in Daytona, whether it's just 57 pickup or any other piece of inventory that you have interest in. Let's take it outside and throw it up in the air and check out the undercarriage, and then we'll do a test drive in our 57 Chevrolet 383 pickup truck. A lot of cool stuff going on uh, underneath our 57 pickup. First of all, you got disc brakes up front. Uh, bottom of the 383 uh, looks fantastic. You can see it's a newer motor. So free plugs, awesome. Pan gasket, awesome. Front seal's good. Uh, flywheel cover. The truck is on our lift by its frame rails. Frame rails are fantastic. Coil overs up front. Tranny pan gasket. Awesome, no leaks. Check our speedo cable. That's good at this time. Tail shaft seals good. Brand new Flowmaster exhaust. Truck does have headers. Floor pans, cab, fantastic. Uh, in the bed, you're going to see the bottom of the wood that we saw in the showroom. Uh, the exhaust system is in fantastic condition. No rust holes, rod holes, pin holes. It's brand new. Four wheel disc brakes. Disc brakes on all four corners of this rig. Dual tips. Frame rails in the rear all look to be in good shape. You can see down the driver's side, down the passenger side. Rear end pumpkins good. What a beautiful truck. We don't uh, get a truck of this caliper and quality around uh, very often, so snatch it up. Let's discuss how to pay for this beauty. Um, first of all, if you're a cash buyer, uh, we accept cashier's check from your bank and then bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on our classic vehicles. 10% down of the purchase price is going to be your minimum re minimum requirement, and then the remaining balance over that 5 to 15 year period, whatever your approval's for. Approvals are based on price of the vehicle, credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, all the things that underwriters normally look for when they're approving or declining a loan. So uh, once you're approved, you just wire us the down payment. Uh, or send us a cashier's check for the down payment and the finance company and will finance us the remainder. If you're quick on your paperwork, we can usually be funded in as little as 24 hours, but uh, 48 hours is kind of typical. Um, the biggest hang up is generally getting the insurance in place, getting a hold of your agent or reaching out to a couple different insurers and um, getting quotes on insurance and then getting that put in place. But other than that, just simple loan doc signing, simple bill of sale signing, uh, wire us the down payment and you're good to go. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the truck through a pre-delivery inspection. This inspection includes torquing the lug nuts, checking the tire pressure, making sure the AC blows cold, making sure all your lights work, wipers work. Old vehicles, anything, even though this thing was just restored, anything can stop working. Anything can start leaking at any given time. It's an old car. Um, so we give it one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility. Give it the green light, make sure it's as standing as tall as it can be uh, before it makes its way your direction. Once it's through inspection, it goes through detail, and then once it's through detail, uh, we go ahead and we dispatch a carrier. 
Typically, we can have a truck here within 40, uh, 24 to 48 hours. However, it may take a little longer in some cases, uh, but we promise you we move quickly. Once we uh, are funded, it's uh, through inspection, through detail, dispatch, loaded on a truck, and it's on its way to you. The whole process is a lot faster than you might think it is. We've got this down to a science. Believe me, we do it several times a month. Let's set our 57 pickup truck down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how the truck runs out. 1957. Cool headliner, right? Cool truck. Tilt. Uh, driver's side turn. Passenger side turn. Temp. Volts. Oil pressure. Fuel gauge. All working. 378 miles that since that gauge package was put in, I'm sure. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it on the uh, left-hand side of the steering wheel. Tack, tack does work. Wipers. Not that those really serve a purpose, but they're there. Um, radio. AC, cold is to your right. This is your temp control here. And it blows cold. Don't need it right now. We're still uh, early in the morning here in Daytona, not quite up to temp yet. It's not real hot, so. Uh, beautiful truck inside and out. Um, look at the dash, how nicely it's painted. Glove box area around the radio, how awesome those gauges look. Uh, it's a nice vehicle. Oh, what are these? Power windows. Forgot that. Oh, oh. okay, that's passenger, passenger side. Driver's side. They go all the way up and all the way down. Sorry, I'm not used to power windows, so I almost neglected to show those, but they work. Um, good power out of this 383. It's a torquey, uh, torquey little truck. Let's show you that now. Love this truck. Speedo's working. Temp gauge is working right about where we should be. The thing should be running 180, 190. Real nice tight steering on the truck. This thing's a bit of a sleeper. Um, this will blow a, a lot of Camaros and Chevelle's away. Uh, really torquey 383. So we'll show you that here in a couple minutes. Um, track's nice and straight. There's no kind of tire hop, engine vibration, tranny vibration, front end vibration. It doesn't pull. Alignment's nice on the truck. Brakes. Four-wheel disc, no uh, vibration, no pulsation at all. Give it a little bit of gas here. It's 80. We'll uh, come down from there. Like you can see, I'm catching up to traffic. No hands on the wheel at 60 miles an hour. Truck tracks nicely. It's a nice vehicle, very nice. It has the uh, aesthetic appeal of a 57 pickup truck, but it has all of your modern day luxury. Nice upgraded interior, four-wheel disc brakes, power steering, AC, uh, power windows. I don't know what else to say. I don't think I have to say much more. I think uh, this thing will sell relatively quickly. By the way, uh, the truck has a nice rumble to it when you want to step on the uh, gas. And uh, sitting here at a traffic light, you can see we're pretty much at idle. I mean, we're coasting here. but. 
nice sound. Beautiful truck. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this truck today, along with this video presentation that you are watching right now. At full retail price, our 1957 Chevrolet pickup includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASE certified facility in the United States. It covers engine transmission rear end. You can't take it to your best friend that lives next door or two doors down to see if they can tweak it for you. Uh, you have to take it to an ASE certified facility, which is most of them that are independent and uh, franchised in the United States. You can probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. That warranty doesn't cover the power windows, it doesn't cover oil leaks, it doesn't cover tranny leaks, it's just internal components of your powertrain. Is the price of the truck negotiable? It is within reason. If we negotiate the price of the truck, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. There is no exception to that, so don't bother asking. If you're full price, you get the warranty. If not, you don't. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we take care of all the logistics of the shipping. We dispatch the order, we arrange the pickup, we arrange the delivery, we pay the driver. At a negotiated cost, you're going to do all that on your own. Or with the assistance of a shipping broker. We do have somebody we can put you with if you need assistance. Maybe you have a carrier you've used in the past for another purchase you made that you were happy with. You're more than welcome to use them. We don't make any money off the shipping. I can care less who you use for shipping. Um, also, uh, if you have your own open or enclosed carrier, you're more than welcome to come trailer this beauty home as well. And if you're local to us here in Sunshine State, you're somewhere here in Central Florida, you want to drive this 57 pickup home, you can do that as well. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. And one last time, our website's hangsters.com. Check us out.